Hey guys and girls, welcome back. I said I'm going to be doing a comparison video between the HP 15 inch 360 versus the Lenovo Flex 5 14 inch. They're both running on the Ryzen CPU, except the HP has a slight advantage of the Ryzen 7 CPU versus the Ryzen 5 CPU. I'm a realtor and I'm going to be comparing the two to see which one will work best for me as a laptop. Let's take a look. Okay, so right off the bat, the Lenovo of course is a smaller size than the HP because one is a 14 inch and the other one is a 15 inch. They both come with an active stylus. Now the difference is that the HP one comes with a magnetized side but it's quite easy to uh, lose because it's not very strong. Um, so the difference between the two stylus is that this one comes with a USB-C charge port where you can recharge and this one runs on battery, runs on those um, 4A batteries that you probably replace once every few months if you use it actively and the Lenovo comes with a USB mount for the stylus which means you will lose one USB port but that's fine for me um, so when you use it you slide it out like that and you take notes now weight wise is relatively portable I can lift it up with one hand and the Lenovo of course is lighter one is a metal finish the other one is a matte paint on polycarbonate as for the power brick the HP does come with a sleeker power brick while the Lenovo comes with a 65 watt charger so the difference is that the HP included charger is one of these um, traditional charge port that plugs in on the right hand side and the Lenovo comes with a USB-C charger that plugs on the left so depends whether you're a lefty or a right-handed person but the HP also comes with a USB-C port on the left hand side which you could charge it and I'm going to demonstrate by plugging in well first I plug this out and I'm going to plug in the Lenovo 65 watt charger on here and it also charges Okay, so the Lenovo, other than the USB-C, you can also see the headphone jack and the other jack here is for the traditional charge port that you could buy separately. So on this side of the Lenovo, it has two USB, one that was taken over by the mount here. And you also have the card reader as well as the power button here. And this is the HP on the other side, which has the USB-C and the headphone jack, HDMI and the USB port. And on this side, it has the card reader, USB and the charge port. So I've plugged them both in. I'm going to do a one finger open test. This one was a success. And the fingerprint reader is here. Uh, I could unlock it like that. Close it. Okay. And this one, yay, one finger. Both are successful with the one finger. And the fingerprint reader is here. Although it's smaller, it's more intuitive than the HP one because I don't have to look for it around here 
I could just you know press this and then it will unlock now I have the same apps installed on both of these computers and in particular the HP sitting idle at the moment is running at around 44 45 degrees and the Lenovo is running at 40 degrees I'm going to try to load GTA at the same time. 3, 2, 1. All right, starting from this. Yes. Oh, come on. All right, the HP doesn't seem to respond well. Okay, I'm gonna load up the Epic Launcher. I got this free game from Epic, which is uh, GTA 5. They kind of both load up instantly. You'll be the judge which one is faster. Maybe they can't be launched at the same time. <laughs> now here's the final verdict for me between the HP and the Lenovo is that they're both really good laptops for everyday use. The HP does feel more premium with the metal but it's slightly heavier than the Lenovo's polycarbonate finish. The HP comes with a 15-inch display with a number pad. The Lenovo comes with a 14-inch, no number pad, but bigger keys. Wi-Fi performance, the HP is superior than the Lenovo. I was able to connect to a further away hotspot on the, the HP than the Lenovo did. Display-wise, the viewing angles on both of these are just fine and they're okay to work outdoors as well provided you don't work in direct sunlight which I don't and performance they're both fairly similar this one does have 16 gigs of RAM soldered in so you cannot upgrade this one comes with 8 gigs of RAM that are upgradable both of these uh, SSDs are upgradable as well as the Wi-Fi card is upgradable as well. Now price, I pay $1,250 with the HP, whereas with the Lenovo, I paid about $870 on Amazon. So which one of these am I going to keep? It's probably a no-brainer for you and me. I'll be keeping the Lenovo because it's such a great deal, it's a great value, it's portable, and it's an ideal laptop for my everyday use. I'm Edmund and I'll see you on the next one.